Hi, this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today I'm doing a design team project from May May Made It. I am making a squash fold card, so let's get started. So for this card, I'm going to be using um, the fall stitched up. I'm just using one of the sentiments for this, but this I could use just about any of these images. It's such a really good set if you're creating cards for the fall or Thanksgiving. I'm also going to be using this lovely pattern paper, and this is from the Celebrate Autumn Paper Pack by Echo Park. It's by uh, Lori Whitlock. It's such a beautiful paper. So I'm going to be using some of this and some of the stickers. So I'm basically allowing the paper to do most of the work. So you want to start out with paper that is eight and a half by eight and a half. So you just need a square piece and you can adjust the sizing if you want it to be larger or smaller. So what I did was I cut down the 12 by 12 paper to eight and a half by eight and a half. I want this side, it's a double sided paper, so I think the double sided paper works really well for this card, but you don't have to. Um, this is going to be the inside of the card, this will be the outside. So all you're going to do is, you can use a scoreboard if you want to, you're going to fold this in half, so you want to get that fold. So you want to get as even as possible, and let's see. I don't have my bone folder with me, so I'm just going to use this to get a good crease. Okay. So remember, this is going to be my inside. And then I'm going to fold this again in half. So that way I'll have four squares on there. So now I've got four squares, and each of the squares is um, four and a quarter inches, but I'll put all the measurements below. Okay, so what you're gonna do is, this is my inside. I'm going to turn this over, and I'm going to fold this in, di actually diagonally, right? Just like this. want to make sure that I got a good crease on that and that this lines up really good and many people use a scoring tool but many of you may not have one so I want to be able to show you without uh, using the scoring tool okay so I'm just going to do it like that okay so when you unfold this it should look like that Okay, so this is how the card would close. Look how easy this is. It's going to close just like this, and that's why it's called a squash card. So you see how that goes? This goes up because you want that to be inside, and you're just squashing it down, basically. Isn't that awesome? So I'm really, really happy with the way this is turning out. Can you tell? Okay, so these are the papers that are going to go on the outside. So you can decorate these however you want. You can do it for different seasons. And watch how this all comes together. All right, so this is the positioning of my card. Look how pretty these papers are on both sides. Okay, so let's go ahead and start gluing some stuff. Before we do that, I do want to add some ribbon because I want to be able to close this up. I want to be able to close this card up and tie it off. So you'll see what I'm trying to do here as we move along in this process. So let's see, maybe about here. Just cutting my ribbon, getting it ready now. So I need a ribbon on the back and the front so I can tie this off. Okay, so I'm just gonna kinda eyeball this right now. Let's get my ribbon on there. Let's see, it's like that. It's gonna close down like that. So you wanna make sure that you remember this is the side that kind of opens up, just like that. I am really excited about this. This is actually the Fancy Fold Challenge also that we've been doing uh, for the month of September. 
So I hope you all challenge yourself on this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and decorate the inside before I start on my outside. I'm going to go ahead and grab two of these and just line them up right there. This is going to go on the inside and my sentiment is going to go in here as well. Or maybe a sticker. I might pop a sticker in here too. And I just want this a shade lighter because I could still write on the blue if I want to write my personal message on the inside. And on the other side that has doesn't have the fold on it, I'm going to put this one right here. Just have it just like this. This paper really does the work for you. Now, if you want, you can use some nice fancy paper and put it on the inside too if you want, or you can just do the stickers. So for right now, I'm just using just some regular solid paper. Okay, so to get my ribbon on here, I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this. Come right across the middle. So I'm just doing like this. Nothing fancy, as you can see. Don't want to go too close to that edge because I do want uh, my paper to have a little edge to it. You'll see what I mean in a moment. Okay. I'm just going to put this right over. See, it covers it right up, just like that. This paper is absolutely gorgeous. Those owls on it. Look at that. That's pretty much on there. The reason why I can't go all the way around because then my card won't open. So I don't didn't want to go all the way around with my ribbon because then my card won't open. Okay, let's do the other side. And I'm going up to the edge here just right across the middle, but I'm not going to go all the way up to the edge over here because I want my ribbon to be able to, um, I don't want it showing through that other side. Let's see, I'm just kind of winging it here. Okay. See how this is really coming together now. Super easy. Once you get that fold figured out, you can do so many of these in so many different designs and colors and use up some of that paper that you've been holding on to. And this is, you'll find a lot, if you look up squash fold card, you'll find a lot of designs on YouTube and on Pinterest. Okay, so this is what we have so far. You see how that opens up just like that? Look at that. And tie it off right here. So pretty. Okay, so I do want a little band on this. Just like that. I thought that would look really cute on there. So let me go ahead and put that just to kind of break it up a little bit. Okay, and see I've got this as well here. And I'm gonna pop that up, but before I do that, let's see, fall, sweet fall. I guess I could use that on there, but I think that needs a little something around the edges of this. Let's see if I can find some paper. Let's see, I think if I kind of use this, and I'm just kind of eyeballing it here. That'll give it a little bit of a border around it so you can see it more. And I'll make sure that I put everything um, that you'll need, all the links to everything, including the paper. The paper's been really popular. And you can see why it's just so versatile. 
and it's a gorgeous paper where you don't have to you don't have to really think about matching up every color it just comes together on its own okay so let's go ahead and put this on here see and I can use this to write my sentiment on I can use this right here write it on there so let's see I'm gonna have this flat I'm not gonna have it like up I'm just gonna put it right in the corner here just like that and then I can actually get a sticker and maybe put it right along here somewhere I'm definitely gonna add stitching to this also Yep, I'm definitely going to add stitching to that. Let me just go ahead and <laughs> normally you would want to do this. You would want to stamp your sentiment in here um, before you add your paper. But I just got on a roll. I'm so excited. Wishing you a beautiful season. I think that's perfect for this. Because we know that fall is a beautiful season that nice and inked up I got a little bit of ink coming over the side so I'm just gonna wipe that off and I'm just gonna put it like right here so that's where you can stamp your sentiment and it's up to you where you want to stamp it okay just like that and let's see if we can find a sticker I'm gonna find a sticker for this so that we can put something maybe right here maybe something there too okay so the paper looked just a little bit too plain for me so in order to get it to look a little bit more fancier I um, went and pulled out some stickers so I put that one in there but I pulled this one out and this and it's got that white in it and then I took my white gel pen you all know I love my uniball signal gel pen and I just went around the edges with some dots and a stitch, dot and a stitch, make to create a nice pattern and to pull out that white. So that's what the inside looks like. And there's still something to write something in here with, you know, so you can look, write your little sentiment or the person's name or what have you. Okay, so let's close that up. You're just pushing these two in and you're squashing it down. That's why it's called squash card, right? Okay, and I'll show you the other one that I did in a moment, which was kind of my practice one. Now look at this. I'm going to actually raise this up a little bit. And put a couple of these on here. That burlap background is just so pretty. All right, and get these off of here love gotta love this mounting tape but I'm gonna show you these die cuts also because I want to use a die cut on the back so the die cuts actually match with the paper okay so now I'm gonna just pop this right on here and now that I'm looking at it, now that I'm really getting a good look at it, hmm, <laughs> it needs some stitching. Yep, okay, I'm gonna come back and do that. Let me show you um, these die cuts real quick. These are also, they're actually the chipboard, chipboard accents, and they are adhesive. So I love this Sleeping Owl one that goes with the theme of this. So it's also sticky. It's not really like heavily, heavily sticky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that right on the back there just to give it a little bit more dimension. And I'm going to go ahead and place that right in the center. A little Sleeping Owl. So I could tie this off also. Oh my 
goodness, that looks so cute. I could put a bow on there also. I could put I could just tie that off like a bow. Let's see. Okay, so we got my bow there. And I feel like I need to have some stitching on here. So I'm going to just go ahead and do this. Sometimes you might want to do this before you actually put it on here. But I'm going to go for it. Don't be nervous. Because <laughs> y'all will make me nervous. And notice it brings out the white. Give, say give, thank, give thanks with a grateful heart. Such a beautiful sentiment. Don't be afraid to use stickers on your cards. They really can enhance your work. And look how adorable that is. That is so pretty. Look at this. I'm just going to show you a little bit more with this um, with this chipboard. So I'm going to have fun using this on other projects. Look how pretty that is. Look at this one right here. Isn't that really cute? Ooh, look at that. It's kind of hanging down from a branch. Boy, I think I'm going to have to do that. Or I can have it here. There's so much you can do with that. So this is a great way to use the chipboard accents. I'm going for it, y'all. Because this, be, this might be inspiring for y'all. Okay, I'm going to have it kind of hanging down as if the branch is hanging down. That's so cute. So, of course, I end up putting something else on there, and that's good. Look how cute that is. You got all of these to choose from. So pretty. So I'm not going to cover up any more owls on here. But let's pull it apart. Let me show you what it looks like. And I laid something on top of mine, but I know that my gel is still, or my gel pen is still drying. So what I did was I just, you have to leave it a little bit. Um, to dry before you close it up. Okay, so let's pull this out. And that's what it looks like. So there's a nice surprise inside. I am loving that. You could actually put a pocket in here and drop something in there like a gift card. Just thinking outside the box. I would think you could. All right. Hold that down. And I'm just going to give it one tie because I want to show you the other one I made, which is my first one. Or you try to do a practice one depending on depending on how I feel. So yeah, I'm gonna put something on top of this so it can lay flat. Let me show you the other one that I did. Look how adorable that is using the same paper. So the same paper, look how many different designs you can get out of that. And then I just put a green strip on here of ribbon. And what I did was I took my, um, this is another gel pen. Let's see if I can remember what this is. Oh, this is the Jelly Roll gel pen in, I believe, Stardust. I'll put that below as well. And so I went in on some of these little flowers that were here just to give it a little bit of enhance, enhancements, just a tiny bit. You could add little gems to it also if you want. It's just up to you. And it says thankful and blessed. So that was one of the stickers. And then to get this little shape around here, all I did was I used my two inch scallop punch to get that. So there's all so many different things you can use. I put a little band around it. And what I did was with my gel pen, I made lines little lines here and a dot lines and a little dot and I put dots around the here the corner 
And of course, I went around the sides with stitching just to tie it in. I even added something to the acorn. Use my white gel pen. This is why I love this, this gel pen so much. <laughs> and so when you open it, here it goes. And I added stickers to it. I left space for writing. So it all depends on what you're going to do with your card. If you're the type that likes to have sentiments, um, like you like to hand write your little message in there, it's up to you. So I hope this gave you some inspiration. I really enjoyed making these and sharing and learning something new. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. Like this video. And I will see you real soon. Bye.